So what other options do we have? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Oh, 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 because look at what we can do now with blend modes. Here, for instance, is a very nice shot. This is an old barn sitting in front of the Grand Tetons. It's a lovely shot. It's actually a very famous barn in the West. It's kind of interesting. It has sort of an energy to it, but wouldn't it be nice if I could sort of make the foreground pop and, and make the sky have a little bit more interesting detail than those overhanging clouds? Well, this is a technique that was discovered almost a century ago by a photographer named Ansel Adams. He made it famous with his graduated filter. What this filter does is it's black at the top and clear at the bottom, and it shades from pure black to pure white from top to bottom, which allows you to change the the look of the image. Now, he put this filter in front of the camera, but we can do it in post-production. And let me show you how this works. Here's the gradient. Notice that it shades from pure black to pure white. If I select the gradient and go to compositing and change it to overlay, watch what happens to the image in two, one, woof. Notice how my foreground got a lot brighter, and notice how I'm able to bring detail out in the clouds, and the midground doesn't change at all. This is before, not bad, and that's after, much better. Before and after. By using overlay, we enhance the detail in the sky by darkening it just a bit, and we're able to enhance the foreground by lightening it. Let's try another example. Here, notice how the sky feels blown out, almost like it's too bright. Look at how the sun shines in the background, but doesn't shine in the foreground. What I want is, is to make the sky have some more detail, more interest, decrease the background intensity, and brighten the foreground. I've got this gradient again, pure black to pure white, shading down. I can create this in Photoshop, or I can create it inside Premiere, or I can create it inside Final Cut. With the gradient selected, let's change this to Overlay, and look at the difference. This is before, this is after. Look at before how dark this is, how washed out the sky is, and after. We've got blue in the sky, we see details in the clouds, we minimize the brightness of the background, and we improve the brightness of the foreground. You'll find these grad filters are useful whenever you're doing wide shots, where you've got the sky in the shot and something in the background. The grad filter allows us to darken and enrich the sky, and at the same time, lighten the foreground. But we don't have to just work with black and white. We can actually work with colors. Let me show you. Here we're back to our barn in front of the Tetons again, and now I've got a color gradient that goes from dark blue at the top to light blue at the bottom. When I put my playhead in the middle of it, look at the change. Notice how we still pick up the detail in the sky, but everything's gone blue just before the rain sweeps in, as the wind starts to pick up. Okay, this is just the regular shot, but now a more enhanced, maybe it's in moonlight, maybe whatever, but we're seeing more of the sky in blue, and we're seeing a, a diminishing of the foreground. It, it just gets colder, but we don't have to work with blue Notice here I've got gold at the bottom, dark blue at the top. When I put my playhead in the middle of it, look at how we've made this wheat so much richer. It's just bursting out of the ground, and the sky is still the blue with all of the texture that we've come to expect, but we've enhanced the foreground. Well, this may be a little bit excessive, so instead of having it be such a saturated orange, I'm going to go with something which is a little bit softer. This is before... And now we're going to add just shades of gold. And look how we've taken out the gold has canceled the blue in the sky. So all that blue overcast is gone. We now just see gray clouds. The barn seems like warm wood. And the, the wheat is rich and vibrant and exciting to look at. Again, going back to before and after. Before and now let's take a look here. Dark blue at the top light gold at the bottom, heavy ominous skies, glowing wheat, 
the barn standing against the elements. In all cases, we've used blend modes, and in all cases, we've used the overlay setting so that we're combining based upon midtones. I don't have to use text to use blend modes. I can use images. We've seen that blend modes combine textures of two stacked clips based upon grayscale or based upon color. That's a true statement for Final Cut and Premiere. I've been illustrating in Final Cut, but it works exactly the same in Premiere, and the blend modes are named exactly the same. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at fire, light leaks, and effects using blend modes in both Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for webinar 174. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.